Hi Kinders, we are going to do our November calendar. So we're going to start with the number and the calendar part. So I'm going to, you can trace it with a pencil, you do markers, you can do different colors, like fall colors if you want to. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to trace the word November first. And if you have time afterwards, you can always come back and color it and decorate it. trace all of the letters for the word November because it's November now not October you can trace all the letters in marker like I said if you like you can do a pattern or you can trace them all in pencil I'm going to let you choose what you want to do I'm going to trace all my numbers in pencil because pencil is always a safe choice because if you make a mistake, a pencil has an eraser. And I love erasers. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There's 30 days in November. So I finished the bottom of the calendar. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the big brown piece of paper. You have a big brown piece of paper and it's folded in half. We're going to glue the calendar number part to the bottom there. If Mrs. Cedar can remember where I put my glue. This is why. Oh, here it is. I'm sure you put your things away much better. So I'm going to just open it a little bit and I'm going to put glue all over the back of my calendar because I like to hang my calendar up. I don't want it to fall off. And then you can do your best to glue it as close to this bottom as possible. And then we can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So it's glued down. Now you need all your other pieces. You need your red, yellow, orange, and your white piece. So I'm going to, I'm going to use a marker, but I really think you should use a pencil because why? The pencil has an eraser. So we're going to be making a turkey face on the top of our paper right here. So the turkey goes on the top and the numbers on the bottom. I'm going to fold my paper because otherwise you can't see all of my paper. I want to make sure you see it all. There you go. Okay, so here is my brown paper and here is my numbers. And I'm going to start making my turkey. So what I'm going to do is the white paper, I want you to fold it in half like this. I'm going to press it down. So it looks like this when you fold it in half. I'm going to take these away so it's not distracting you. So I'll show you what I did. I, you have a half sheet of white and we're just going to fold it in half and then press it down. And what you're going to do is I want you to draw a circle, a big circle. Actually, it's more like an oval. And this, these are the eyes for the turkey. So nice and big like that. We don't want little itty bitty eyes. We want nice and big eyes. Then you're going to get your scissors. And I'm going to show you a trick. I know it's only one eye, but because we folded it in half, when you cut out one, guess what? You get two eyes. So these are my turkey eyes. You can recycle this paper. I have my recycle bin right there. And we're gonna, we'll draw the eyes later. So take your two eyes and you put it aside somewhere safe. Well, you know where it is because you're going to need it again later. Then you're going to take your orange paper and I do the same thing. We're going to fold it in half like that. 
And do you see the folded part right here? This is the folded part, and this is the part that opens. Put the part that opens, the part that opens on the bottom, and make sure the folded side is on top because you're going to draw an upside down triangle. This is gonna be the turkey beak. And when you cut it out, it will be a beak. So if I did it on this side, it won't be a beak. But if I make sure that the that I put the folded side on the top and draw the triangle upside down, when I cut this out, it becomes a beak. See? Turkey beak. Do you see this? So I'm going to put my turkey beak aside. And I don't need this paper. You can save it to do another project or you can recycle it. Then you're going to take your yellow paper and you're going to draw some ovals on it. They kind of, they're shaped like leaves. These are turkey feathers. I have to say, when I make turkey feathers, they look like leaves. If you need help, this may be a good time to ask your parents. They can help you draw your turkey feathers. But if you think you can do it, I would love to see what you can do. I like to put up the lines inside the feathers, just like a leaf. And then I draw the little lines on it like this. Remember, if Mrs. Cito's going too fast, you can pause the video and come back when you're ready. So I did it for the yellow. I'm going to do the exact same thing for this red one. I'm going to draw my turkey feathers. So one, and we need three turkey feathers on each page. And do you notice how I'm using a lot of the paper? I'm not drawing my feather that small. That's too small. We need big feathers for our turkey because we're making a big turkey. So there's my three. Here are the lines in the middle and then the little lines on it. Now I'm ready to cut out my feathers. I'm going to cut out the red ones first. Remember, if I'm going too fast, please pause the video and then come back when you are ready. You might have paused the video already to ask your parents to help you draw your feathers. Or maybe you did it by yourself and you didn't need help. So here are my three red feathers. I'm going to recycle this paper. And I'm gonna cut out my three yellow feathers. Three yellow feathers. One yellow feather. Two yellow feathers. Three yellow feathers. Yep, one of my three yellow feathers. I'm going to put this in recycling. I have three yellow and three, three yellow feathers. I have three yellow feathers and I have three red feathers. I have my beak and I have my two eyes. Now I'm ready. So I'm going to put all my pieces to the side and I'm going to bring back my big brown paper and we're going to be working right here on the top. So I'm going to fold it so that the numbers are on the bottom and I can start working on my turkey. So I think I'm gonna do the beak first. I'm gonna show you something. I'm not gonna put glue all over, it's like a diamond. We don't want it to put glue on the diamond. We only wanna put glue on one side of the triangle. So I'm gonna pick this side. And I'm gonna put enough glue so I don't want the turkey beak falling off. And I'm gonna glue the turkey beak in the middle. Is this the middle? Is that the middle? Is that the middle? No, the middle is about right here. Middle. And I'm gonna count to 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And look, the beak can open. Now I'm gonna put my two eyes. I'm gonna decide, do I want my eyes right there? Farther, closer, a little. Silly, it's up to you. This is your turkey. Do I want my eyes like this? Hmm. I think I'm gonna put my eyes on the side of the beak. So one eye right there. And I'm gonna fold the 
has her eye right here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now I get to draw the eyes for my turkey. You can have your turkey looking that way. So I can draw my eyes, they're looking that way, looking together. So it's up to you. I think I'm gonna have my turkey draw big eyes on the turkey. So if I draw it over there, if I draw my eyes right here, then the turkey's looking this way. If I draw it in the middle like this, my turkey eyes are looking at each other. It's kind of like a silly turkey. You can always turn it into a girl turkey or a boy turkey. It's totally up to you. This is your turkey. All right, so I did my eyes. I did silly eyes. Now I get to do my feathers on, and I want you to do a pattern. Um, so what you're going to do is, and you're not putting glue on the whole feather. You're just going to put glue on the bottom part. You see where I'm putting glue? Just right there. Then you're going to hold it underneath. So make sure you don't, make sure you're only gluing on, the, maybe I should open up. So glue it right like that. And what it's going to look like when you're done, it's going to look like a turkey. Whoops, wrong pattern. So it's yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. So it's my turkey when it's all done with eyes and a beak. So I'm just gonna put glue on the bottom here and then slide it under. So glue on the bottom and I slide it under. Glue, and I'm not putting glue on the whole feather because I don't need glue on the whole feather. I just need it on the bottom. Look how cute he is. And I just thought of something. Turkeys have wattles. Wattles like this little red on the side of his beak or her beak. And I have some red extra paper. So I'm gonna draw a waddle. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna draw a waddle. I'm gonna, you have to make sure you have enough room. It has to be kind of long like this. So what I'm gonna do is gonna draw a bump and a bump and a bump. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna do a bump, a bump, and a bump. Do you see how I did that? Let me make sure it's in the video. So I draw, drew the three bumps. And then I'm gonna cut out my bottle. I hope you have enough red paper left to make your bottle. If you don't, you can use a white paper and color it red for the bottle. Okay, now that's my bottle. See, turkeys have this bottle on the side of their beak. I think I'm gonna put the glue on this side. And I'm done with my glue. I'm gonna glue the bottle right there, right on the side. And look at my turkey. He's so funny. My turkey calendar. I can't wait for your teachers to see your turkey calendar on Flipgrid Friday. Good job, Kenders. I'll see you next time.